Hello everybody, this is Orange, and welcome to my abyss. And in this episode, we are going to be doing my... God, what month is it? July manga haul. Baby, it's time for that. I'm sorry I've been a bit inactive for the past couple weeks. I've been pretty busy. I'm getting ready to go back to college, and like with work, work's always fun. Work's a good time. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'll actually be, um, by the time I'm recording this, I'm actually, or by the time this video gets uploaded, I'm, I'm probably going to be back at college, and I don't really know how active I'll be on YouTube during that time. Uh, I probably will be still getting manga like via pre-orders, but definitely not as much as I normally do, even this month. I don't know too much manga as I've had for the past few months. So that's going to be calming down. Don't know how often I'll be uploading videos while at college. Uh, if you want to check up on me though, um, I'm always active on Twitter and I'm pretty active on Tumblr as well. So you can, you can usually find me there, especially active on Twitter. Um, so if you want to know how I'm doing, you can always check out there. Don't know how much I'll be uploading at college, but hopefully I won't totally stop because you know, it's, it's fun. I've been really enjoying doing this. Um, I've been uploading videos for a few months now, I think, at least in the manga two world. I have my YouTube channel long before this, <laughs> and I have a lot of the older videos still on the channel. Those are always wild for me to go back through. But I've been, I'm really enjoying manga tube so far. I'm getting, I've been watching videos for a while before I even started doing this, and it's just such a nice, fun community with much people who really care about manga and like comics as well. And it's fantastic seeing people have the same like outlook I do, and it's been really fun seeing recommendations, seeing what people collect. Even like um, a lot of like other manga tubers have been like leaving comments in the comment section, and I'm like, oh heck yeah. <laughs> It's like a super fun community and I'm having so fun so far, so hopefully I'll still be able to upload stuff while at college. We'll see how that works. <laughs> but uh, this month, um, definitely a lot uh, later of a haul than it has been in my past couple months. I've been uploading this, I believe, is 15 volumes of manga, which is still a pretty like good amount, but definitely not as much as what I was doing for the past few months. So let's get started with what I was, with what I'm collecting. So... Um, I wanted to finish up uh, a series called Tagami Bachi. It's a series that I've been trying to collect for, I think, pretty much over the past five years. It's a 12 volume series, like not the longest, but still pretty long. And I've just been having trouble like collecting in general because it is a pretty beefy series. So I have, so this month I have collected volumes 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, um, 18, 19, and 20 because I already had 16 and 17 that I got um, years ago. I was finally able to read them after them being on my shelf for like literally five years. We'd love to see it. Yeah, but it's uh, fantastic to actually finally have this series being finished up. It's a Shonen Jump series with, I think, beautiful, beautiful artwork. It's a... Uh, you know, I don't read too many Shonen Jump series, especially compared to like other people. A lot of them are really... Like, they're, they're good series, but a lot of them really spark my interest as well. But like, the something with like the artwork and like the, uh, like the power system and like the characters in this series like always have like captivated me so I just really wanted to finally getting around to uh to just finishing up collecting this series and it's great it's a really good shonen series it's it's very beautiful like, I love having these covers on my shelves look at that coloring on there and like they have very pretty spines too a lot of these books that got used I just really want to finish up this very beautiful very pretty series so yeah fantastic to finally have the Gabibachi finished and completed on my shelf and if you guys know any like a shonen series that you think I may be into, like, suggest them. I always want to get into more genres, like, I read a lot of seinen's and just like horror and weird stuff it seems. I don't know, suggest stuff if you think I'd like it. And moving on beneath that, we have my continuation of collecting every single Samatezuka thing, with uh, this being volumes one and two of Captain Ken. Captain Ken is one of his more, let's say, uh, child-friendly-ish series. Um, just a very interesting, it's like a sci-fi western. It, it definitely leaves more western than sci-fi. Sometimes when you threw it on, I'm like, oh yeah, this is like in space or something. But it's 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 a really fun one. I like I like a more light-hearted Tezuka manga. I think they're they're more fun. Of course, the classic character designs and returning from the Tezuka Star System Theater, we got a lot of a lamp. I think it's lamp. Yeah, we got a lot of lamp in this one. One of these days I'm going to explain the Sam Tezuka work to everyone, and it'll be like, oh my god, what are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, but it's great. I do want to keep on collecting Tezuka stuff, because I like I like his stuff. I think it's interesting, even though like some aspects can be dated like due to when it was made. I do think his work is like super interesting to go through, and I'm really happy to see like a lot of work like still of his still being like 
republished. Like, I think we had Kodansha announced that they're going to be, like, um, re-releasing at, like, Princess Night and, like, uh, Ota Kirihito and I think Apollo Song. I think Bomba. Did they say they were re-releasing Bomba? I, like, saw that recently because I was, like, compiling a list of all Tezuka manga and, like, crossing out, like, this has been released, this has not been released over here. And I was like, Bomba? They were okay. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but yeah, and also, um, uh, Platinum Manga, they seem to be doing a lot of, uh, they seem to be more of, like, an indie company who are releasing a lot of Tezuka stuff in general, so support, like, the smaller, like, manga businesses, too, because manga, like, releasing businesses, like, in the West are, like, really, or pretty much everywhere, are, like, really, um, the same three companies, so it's always good to have, like, to, like, pick up stuff from other companies, because you don't want it to be a monopoly, you want to have some, some good diversity, which you can pick up from, and I like supporting, like, the smaller manga publishing companies. I just really want more Tezuka stuff to be published in the West in general, because there's a, there's a lot of, like, interesting stuff in those pages that more people should, like, look over. <laughs> Moving on from that, we got something I actually got today. I got it in the- I was actually waiting to film this video until I got this book, and it came in the mail today, and I just ran out as soon as I got it. I was also just excited to get this, because it's more Junji Ito, baby! Um, I'm a huge Junji Ito fan, if you can't tell I have, um... Twisted Visions, like, sitting on my nightstand, so it watches over me while I sleep every single night. And this is his newest release. It's, a, uh, it's very interesting. It's a very interesting Jujito one. It's more, uh, I think this is more of a... I haven't actually gotten around to reading it yet, because I did just get it today and film it, so maybe I'll tell you what I think of it later. But I, from how it looks, it looks like it will be more like a, uh, this whole thing is a full story instead of, like, an anthology. Thing. And it's interesting, like, going through his full story, so I'm excited for that. And I, I always just love seeing more Junji Ito stuff getting released because he's a classic horror mangaka, and maybe, maybe if he, maybe we'll have, like, a lot more manga getting, or, uh, like, horror manga getting published over here. Especially, like, retro stuff. I love horror manga, but so much of it just, like, isn't published, so hopefully we'll get more eventually. <laughs> but this, this book is beautiful to look at. If you can't tell from my wonderful phone camera, the, uh... The lettering is in a gold color, and it's so pretty. This manga is so pretty to look at, and it's um, it has a dust jacket too, which a few of Junjito's like mangas do have dust jackets. And on the inside, it has just just beautiful artwork. It's really like one of the prettiest manga I've ever bore witness to. It's just so pretty to look at. So I'm excited to read this, and on the back, of course, it has some of his classic horror work. Can't wait to figure out what the heck is that when I read through this. So excited for that. And beneath that, we got a classic manga, which I'm slowly collecting. I've read it before. I've watched it a lot. <laughs> I've watched it a lot. I've read it before. It's Inuyasha. A classic. I love Inuyasha. Uh, I gotta eventually pick up more Rumiko Takahashi stuff. I know a lot of her stuff is more romance-focused, and I'm really not into that, but I love her comedy, and her action in the series is fantastic. I love Inuyasha. It's a really big, like, comfort series to me often. Just, all the characters are fun to, like, watch. It's a it's simple, it's fun, I like everything. It's the artwork is pretty. It's it's a classic. It's Inuasha. It's a again, it's a classic. If you haven't gotten around to reading it yet, then what are you waiting for? There's something in here for everyone. I I love that cover. And I am slowly collecting these in the Viz Big volumes, because I think there's 17 or 18, so it's a pretty beefy series, because Inuasha is a pretty beefy series. And these are, I think, really nice releases too. They're not hardcover. I like having hardcovers, but if they're pretty high quality, I think. So yeah, I can't wait to collect more of these. This this is gonna be a really weird confession, but when I first read Inuasha, um, from how sh how Rumiko draws um, Inuasha's nose, I thought he had a little doggy nose, and when I found out he had a normal nose, I was so I was so distraught. Draw Inuasha with more doggy noses, please. That's adorable. Beneath that, we're getting close to the bottom of the pile. This should be a shorter video than usual. I don't know. We'll have to figure that out. We have. Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, Part 5, Golden Wind, it's finally released in America. I'm so hyped for having just more Jojo stuff released. And also, by the time we're recording this, we've had the Part 6 anime get introduced or announced. We're getting Jolene, baby. We're getting Jolene and her amazing Foo and all of the other ones animated. I'm so excited. And also, I think Part 8 just wrapped up, too. Yeah, it's a big Jojo news fan. But Part 5, we're talking about Part 5. We're getting our Part 5 introduced and announced and... Part 5 is Italian. It's so Italian. It, it's Italy, but everyone in Italy just loves, just has no physical, has no sense of physical space, so they're all hugging up on each other. It is a fun time. And these hardcover, like, releases of the JoJo's mangas are so beautiful, too. 
they're absolutely wonderful on the shelf. Just, just they're, they're gorgeous. And you have our version of Giovanna on the back right there. And on the front we got our, we got Giorno, um, Josuke, and Jotaro with all their stands. Oh God, I can't wait to have like this all over, excuse me, all over our shelf because the diamond was unbreakable. Like that was a beautiful like run. And even the ones before that, they did a really good job like putting these into hardcover and I can't wait for more and something that I think is like super pretty too is like the back you probably can't even see it on the camera it's kind of like I'm um, embossed with the Jojo's logo but this is Jojo's part five it's great it's it's more Jojo's I can't wait for the next one because I think that's the one where we introduce the boys we're gonna see all of our fantastic Joe bros Joe boys from the Joe team this generation we're going to see our our Fugos and our Abachia and our Mistas and all of them. I'm rambling. But always love to see more JoJo. Can't wait for more JoJo to get released. Excited for everything JoJo related. And beneath that, wrapping it up like I seem to do, have been doing for the past few months, is we got Full Metal Alchemist Full Metal Editions Volumes 8 and 9. What can you say about Full Metal Alchemist that hasn't been said by literally everyone on Earth? Um, It's a fantastic series. I adore it. It's great. <laughs> Yeah, read, read Full Metal Alchemist if you haven't yet. And honestly, if you haven't, then who are you? <laughs> Everyone's read this series. And again, if you haven't, go for it. It's fantastic. It's a classic. It's a series that I always like going back to either watching the uh, Brotherhood anime, sometimes the 2003 anime. I have some issues with that one. <laughs> it's it's good. I just have some personal, like, gripes with it. <laughs> but it is good. Um, but I watch, I've watched Brotherhood, like, with pretty much all of my friends. If if we're watching a series, I always force them to sit down with me and watch Brotherhood. And the manga, I pretty much just read when I need something to, like, have a pick-me-up with. Because it's something I can read at, like, any point in time. I love Full Metal Alchemist, I love the manga, and I love the Full Metal Edition so much. They are beautiful on a shelf. I have the, uh, all the issues I collected on my manga shelf so far, and they look so good. I can't wait to have the entire set. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, it's so good. But on our volume 8, we got our beautiful man, Scar, just being the best he can be. Oh, what a king. What an icon. Oh, I also love all the different, like, details on the back, too, with the, uh, you can't see it with my wonderful camera. That's great. But it has, like, a bit of a, a sign, like, etched into it. And it's, it's so pretty. God, these, these volumes are so pretty, and the story is great, too. And on this one, we got, we got Envy. I, I adore Envy. They're great. Can't get enough of Envy. And on the back, we got Gluttony. Gluttony is always a good time. Love him. And I love the, uh, I love the uh, color they chose for, um, Envy's spine. It's just, just a deep maroon. These are beautiful volumes, and I can't wait to keep on collecting more. I might have to slow down collecting them, because they are a bit more pricey, because they're hardcover and beautiful. But yeah, I'm excited to get Full Metal Alchemist on my shelf in the, in the best possible edition they can be. I'll put them down over there. And that's all the manga I've collected for this month. Woo! So we'll see how many videos I'll actually be making while at college. Again, if you want to, if you want to like see me or see how I'm doing, um, I'm out, I'm pretty much always active on Twitter. Occasionally active on Tumblr. Usually less on Tumblr. I mostly go there to upload art and me crying about a gin. Because <laughs> that's the only place I can cry about a gin without making my followers question me. <laughs> oh yeah, that the, the last volume of a gin is like coming out so soon, and I'm so hyped for that. I'm just gonna make this entire video now in a gin video. <laughs> But, but yes, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, comment any manga recommendations in the bottom and maybe I'll read them, maybe I'll collect them. Who knows? Uh, have a lovely night.